in the previous videos of this session we found ways to get class information method information field information of a class dynamically now in this video we will find a way to get constructor information of a class dynamically namaste everyone i am gyan and you are watching the session 17 of java and wave reflection api in java the method get constructors is a public method of the class java.lang.class the method get constructors returns reference to constructor array the constructor is a type defined in java.lang.reflect and the get constructors method returns reference of an array of type constructor the get constructors method return public constructors of the same class not of the base class if you remember get methods method return public methods of the same class and public methods of the base class and the get fields method returns the public fields of the same class and the public fields of the base class but the get constructors method returns the public constructors of the same class not of the base class here in this case we have three java files base.java example.java and use.java in base.java we have the class base in the class base we have a public parameterized constructor which accepts two parameters integer variable and float variable then we have a default constructor with default visibility mode the bodies of these two constructors are empty after that we have example.java example.java contains a class example and the class example is a child class of the class base the class example contains a parameterized constructor with default visibility mode and the two parameters accepted by the parameterized constructor are integer variable and float variable and the class example also have a default constructor with public visibility mode let's check use.java in terminal open use.java in use.java we have imported two classes the class modifier and the class constructor from the package java.lang.reflect then we have the class use in use.java in the method main of the class use we are accessing the variable class of the class example and the reference to the class dot class object corresponding to the class example will be stored into the reference variable c of type class the get constructors method is a method of class class so by using the reference variable c of type class we are calling the get constructors method which collects all the public constructors into the constructor array and returns reference to that constructor array into the reference variable mtst so the mtst is a reference variable of type constructor array and that constructor array contains all the public constructors of the class example after that we are iterating through the constructor array mtst for each element of the constructor array we are storing the reference of that constructor into the reference variable m of type constructor and we are calling the method get name by using the reference variable m when we call the get name method of the corresponding constructor element it will return the name of the corresponding constructor as a string and the reference of that string will be stored into the reference variable name of type string so here we got the name of the constructor for each iteration we are getting the name of the new constructor then after we are calling the method get modifiers by using the reference variable m here the method get modifiers is also present in the constructor class and like get modifiers methods of class field and method the get modifiers method of the class constructor also returns integer for different modifiers of the constructor the get modifiers method return different integers the integer returned by the method get modifiers will be stored into the integer variable i after that we are passing the integer variable i to the method to string of the class modifier method to string of the class modifiers get all the modifiers of the given constructor according to this integer variable and create a single string reference of that string will be stored into the reference variable modifier of type string then just like earlier videos on methods we are getting parameter types and exception types in various class arrays after that we are printing the name of the constructor for current iteration and the name of the modifier for the constructor under current iteration we are trying to access the parameter types of the constructor under current iteration and then here we are trying to get exception types for the constructor under current iteration we did all these things in the previous video of this session when we were accessing the various properties of methods 
The link of that video is given in the video description below. Let's try to execute this code. Java C base dot Java example dot Java and use dot Java. It compiles fine. Now run it. Java use. It runs fine. And there is only one public constructor in the class example. And that public constructor is the default constructor. The other method to get constructor information is get declared constructors. The get declared constructors method of java.lang.class is a public method returns constructor array. The constructor itself is a type of java.lang.reflect package. The method get declared constructors returns all constructors of the same class but does not return any constructor of its super class. Let's try get declared constructors in our code. Open use.java and right here get declared constructors right here declared constructors try to compile this code once again compiles fine now run it java use it runs fine and here we are getting all the constructors of the class example we got the information about both the constructors of the class example, the parameterized constructor and default constructor. So this is the output we got by using get declared constructors. That's all for this video guys. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe my channel on YouTube, like my page on Facebook and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.